Welcome back to Coffee Breaks, nerds. My name is Thomas. I'm Chris. And today we are playing Carcassonne. Carcassonne. I was worried I was going to say it and mess it up. So it's the name of a French city. French city. Yeah. Get rid of this. Okay, so Carcassonne Baguette. is a game that Tom has never played before, so mm -hmm. this is going to be fun. That's for most things on this show. This is something Tom has never done before, and we're going to see how he does. Yeah. That's kind of how it goes. I'm. What'd you say? I said you're going to lose. Oh, I think so. I was clueless. I was going to make too. a joke. Okay. Anyways, do your thing. <laughs> okay, so Off Carcassonne. <laughs> Carcassonne is a uh, tile placement, a tile placing worker placement game. So the uh, the idea is every time you're going to draw from a stack and you're going to flip over the tile and you're going to place it, and you can choose if you want to place one of your meeples on it or not. Meeples? Now, yeah, they're called meeples. <laughs> yeah. So depending on what tile you get, you can choose how to lay it down. Okay. You're loving the meeples, aren't you? <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay, so um, if you get a roadway, that's a meeple. Is this a steeple? <laughs> I'm done. Okay, I just I quit. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna listen now. Let's take it. If you get a roadway, you can place the meeple on as a highwayman. Now, the highwayman scores points when you complete the road on both sides. So let's just say I would have like another church over here. Okay. You would count each tile connected to that road as one point. So if you had a road ending here and a road ending here, that would be worth three points because it's three tiles. Okay, so speaking of the churches, you can place them on as a monk. Now, the, now in order to collect points as a monk, you have to have all nine tiles around that, like the tiles surrounding that uh, monastery filled. Okay. Once they're filled, they he collects one point for each tile, so he could be worth nine points. Also, you have a city guard, which is where you place the uh, the meeple inside the city. In that case, you have to complete the city. In other words, the walls have to make a full you know connection, and there has, yep. you know, every place has to be filled. Those are worth two points apiece. Okay. Also, you'll notice this place has a flower bed. Well, that's where these uh, steeples, or they're called abbots, come in, come into play. Hey, abbot. <laughs> yeah. Um, you place them on there, and they count as monasteries. Or if you place them on a monastery and you decide you don't want to wait till you get all nine points, you can pull them off at any point and take the take the tiles as points. So okay, it's a real simple game. Um, you place the, you you draw a tile and then you decide if you want to play it or not. Um, also, there's one more thing you can do. If you decide I don't want to place a meeple there, you can place them down as a farmer. Now farmers only count at the end of the game, but they can be game changers. Every city they're connected to, in other words, if the grass is um, if you can draw a line from you know from the farmer to the city without being disrupted by a road or something, then they get three points per city that they're touching. Okay. So the meeple, the uh, the carcassonne that you can find in most game stores comes with two the uh, the Abbott expansion and the River expansion, and so we are going to start off the River, which is a good way to kind of get the game started, and it forms it. So we're going to be drawing from this neutral pile. We have a spring and a lake that we're kind of connecting to. And then after that, we start drawing from these big piles and start placing our meeples. And whoever has the most points at the end of the game wins. Fair enough. I'm going to lose, but let's give it a shot. Oh, um, I think you're aware of this, but the pictures have to line up. The pictures have to line up. In other words, you can't have a row touching the grass. So yeah, I, I figured that. Yeah. So I forgot to explain it. So see, I didn't really get anything here for this first time, so I'm going to place that there. Okay, so for this, you also didn't get anything. So I can just... We're off to a great start. All right. Yay. Okay, so there are two cities here, but I can only place one meeple, so I'm gonna place them in here. So you have a city guard, which yep. is two points. Yep. Correct. So I draw, mm -hmm. and I have a road, mm -hmm. but this is really all I can do. Yeah. Can I start here? No. Great. Okay. So you can place a meeple on that road and just try to finish that if you want. Yeah, uh, sure. Highway. So I have a highwayman. Mm -hmm. Great. All right. So this river is going to curve this way, and I'll place a highwayman on this road too. That's fair. Oh, so I have that, which I can do something with that, right? Yeah, it's a flower bed. 
So is that a farmer? Or is no, that... no, 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 no. That's uh, the, the... you gotta place an abbot. If you're an abbot. Abbot. That's right. So again, your goal is to finish all these tiles. Right. So this river is bending. Well, I'm gonna bend it this way because you have a road there. That... Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Okay, so I can't really do that. Yeah, yeah well, you place it here. Well, I, you're right, can I do this? Yeah. I don't know what I'd want. I mean, I kind of do. But, no. Ah, this is rough. I would place it like that. Can I do this? No. No, that's right, because of the river. You would place it like this? Mm -hmm. So you can place a monk on there. So these guys are kind of helping each other out now. So yes. That's where you get the bonus. All right. You get another city. So I'm gonna go ahead and place another guard. And last card? Mm -hmm. Hey, look. Now you have to place that. Oh yeah, because of the river. Yeah, you're, you're making the river. Yeah, yes. you want to do that. Because if uh, you were to put them here, the the cities are not connected yet. But once the city's connected, it's whoever has the most guards collects the points. So. Okay, so then that's the end of the... Okay. okay. Great. All right, so now it's going to be my turn. This will be interesting. It will be. So, I'm going to take this tile. All right, I have another city here. Um, I could do, put it here and finish my city, but I kind of want to build points. So, that's reasonable. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here. Can you? Oh, you're all right. I'll Keeping it. Chris in, in line here. So I'm going to connect that city next. So I'm just going to go ahead and place a guy in the highway. Make him a highwayman. Okay. This is going to be a very tricky game. I can already tell. Um. Hmm. Well, I don't want to add on to your city. But, I mean, if I did something like this, could I put a guard here? No, because it's connected to my city. You could put a guard here, though. I don't really think I want to do that though. No, you I could put it here. This. You could do that. And you could put the guard there, yep. So that's kind of an unclaimed city. And that's, you so know. That's probably not the best idea. No, it's, it's a good idea actually, so. So see, I got this. Which. I'll place it here. Do you have to put another meeple or? Nope, this guard's working for both of them. Perfect. Okay, so another part here. Mm. Can't do that. It's perfect, actually. That looks great. You can't see our faces, so it's perfect. That's okay. Okay, so you can't really do that because it has to be connected to a tile. Okay, diagonal doesn't count. Okay. So you uh, look at your options here. Can I do something like that? You could this? do something like that, yep. Oh, yeah, that yeah, was a lot. I want to do that because I need Guys, it. I'm sorry. I didn't think about doing that before. That's in my bed. It's okay. Well, we got to figure it out now. So what happens if you run out of meeple? You just, uh, you just have to try to finish up some projects. So. Alright. Um, nope. I can do that though. Wow. Okay, these shields are worth two extra points. Okay. So you're killing me. Well, not yet. It's still anybody's game, trust me. Okay. So I got a lot of roads here. I can... Do something like this. You can do something like that. I will let you know that um, that makes that a little bit harder to complete. Just so you know. Okay. I don't really know. Let's see. Yeah, it, it's it's a good move. I'm just like, no, that's you just gotta be aware of stuff like that. So. Okay. I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay. What do you put them on? Are you putting them here or on this road? Oh. That's a see. That's an end of the road. That's true. Uh, do I have to put them anywhere yet? No, you don't have to put it in there. I can put it in there yet. <clears throat> okay, I got just a blank monastery. So. I'm gonna put him right here. And I will put a normal monk on there. Yikes. Sick. So what do I want to do? That'll give you four points right there. It's not uncommon to do that in. Can you do this? You could, so you get six points because these complete the road here, so you get the two yes. points for that and the four points for that. 
So you could take these off the board and put them over here. And then you move your ping up to six points. Uh, keep them laying down because we stand them up if you get over 50 points. Oh, yeah. so. Hey, look, I got another church. I'm just going to put it right there. And I'm going to put my abbot on it for change. Well, I'm going to put it down here, actually. Okay. Um. You could do that. No, you can't. No, I can't go through it, yeah. You could put it here. I can't put like a guard here or something and try and start taking Not this if it's here. already my city. What you would have to do is you'd have to start a city up here and work your way down. But this isn't already your city or That's it is? my city because I have a okay. guard in it. So. That's fair. Um, what did you say I could do? Like this? Yeah, take two points where you could put a guard. Yeah, you could take the four points there too. Well, you know, you, you you put a guard on, you take them off, so you get four more points. The so time is up to ten points now. Ten points. I've got a bad feeling I'm doing this wrong now. That's probably what I would have done, to be honest with you. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and take this. That's going to be a ridiculous city. Yeah. We'll see. So that's yeah. one that I'm you... Honest. Yeah, I'm good. that's great. So I was hoping for... That's perfect Perfect for you. How many is that? Okay, so you get the two, four, six, and then that shield, so you get eight points. So Tom's taking an early lead here, guys, but this game has proved to me that it's Anything not over until it's over. Which is why some people like this game. Man. Boom. Yep. Well, nope, I can't do that either. Nope, I can't do that. I can do this, though. I will take the two points, or the four points. Okay. So it's turn. Two, two. Yep. Great. Okay. Keeping it nice and simple. Um. Hmm. What do? What do I want to do? So if I did like this, that would help you. Yeah. So I don't want to do that. Right. You don't want to help me. I'll start this. Okay. Oh. So this is an interesting piece. Okay. And... <clears throat> interesting. Do you go until all the cards are out? Yep. So if I did this... I made Mr. Highwayman here. So you'd get one, two, three, four points. Four points. And you take your Highwayman back. Sick. <laughs> I think I know what card you're waiting for. Let's see if I get it or not. I'm just going to help my own Highwayman out. That's fair. Okay. Um, let's see. What do I want to do? One, two, three. That might make your job a little harder on finishing that city, right? Oh, yes. You're proud of yourself for that one? I am proud of myself for that one. That was a dirty move. I, I apologize in advance. That's part of the game. You can only play to win, so. Oh, look, that's probably the card you wanted. It was, yes. <laughs> it doesn't matter now. Doesn't matter Somebody now. Somebody ruined it. I've got you. What should we there? <laughs> Great. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Stupid. Okay, so I get 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 points. So I get a 16. That was a stupid move. Yeah, it really wasn't a bad idea, but I just got the lucky, lucky piece to let me finish that. Yeah. Just a road. I was a highway man. Let's 
to be fair, I think I'm gonna need another one, another piece like that for there. <laughs> Hey, luck is on my side today, guys. This is a very interesting game. It's fun. It's okay. very interesting. So you collect nine points because you just finished that. I did? Yep, see, so you have all the pieces around that after the last track. Oh, okay, filled. so I so get you that. Get that. So you need to get this piece filled if you want to get the nine points there. Which, which piece? This one right here for that mod. Okay. okay. Or you could, you could take that guy at any time, to be honest with you, just to get the points, but that's up to you. So I'm placing this here. And I'm going to bet on my future here and put a farmer in that field. Okay. Betting on your future, I see. So a lot of possibilities here with this card. So I need to fill this. So can't really do that with this card. 